Kotaro Kiyomiya was one of the most hyped amateur prospects in modern Japanese history. Kiyomiya took up softball in the first grade, but quickly transitioned to baseball and became known as a child prodigy. He received international recognition at a very young age as he represented the Japanese national team at the 2012 Little League World Series. Baseballfactory.com gave Kiyomiya a player comp of Babe Ruth in their 2012 scouting report as he blew away Williamsport on both sides of the ball. The 13-year-old 6-foot 206-pounder hit moonshots with his left-handed bat and threw a flaming fastball with his right-handed arm that touched 80 miles per hour, the equivalent of a 104 mile per hour Major League pitch, leading Japan to the Little League World Series title. Following this showcase of pure athleticism on an international stage, he decided to focus on just hitting and attended Waseda Zitsugyo High School where he played first base and batted third. He went on to set the unofficial record for most home runs in a high school career with 111, and in 70 official high school games across four seasons, Kiyomiya hit 405 with 29 home runs and 95 RBIs. During these years, he also became captain of the under-18 Japanese national team. On September 12, 2017, he declared for the MPB draft, and the following month, seven franchises selected him with their first pick, but it was the Hokkaido Nippon Ham Fighters that won the lottery and his negotiation rights. Kiyomiya's professional career was underway. But things got off to a very rocky start. In January of 2018, he suffered a right thumb phalanx contusion during training, and then got hospitalized the following month for localized peritonitis, forcing him to miss spring training and opening day. He made his second team debut on April 10th and quickly appealed his way onto the first team after hitting 4 home runs in 15 games. He marked his MPB debut on May 2nd and immediately made an impact with a 7 game hitting streak that included his first career home run on May 9th off Brandon Dixon. The hitting streak was the longest by any rookie to start their career in the amateur draft era since 1966. But despite the hot start, he struggled for much of the year, striking out at a very high clip and finishing his rookie campaign with a 200, 283, 381 slash line with 7 home runs in 53 games, for a weighted runs created plus of 80. But hopes were still high, after all, the legend Sadaharu Oh struggled in his rookie season and also hit just 7 home runs, and Kiyomiya posted a 606 slugging percentage with 17 home runs in 45 games on the second team, so clearly the talent was there. Unfortunately, the following spring he suffered a hamate fracture in his right wrist and was forced to miss his second straight opening day. After recovering from bone fragment removal surgery, he returned to baseball action on the second team on May 14th and made his way back onto the first team by May 24th, and he hit his first homer of the season the following week. But he failed to find his stride and finished the year with a 204, 270, 340 line in 81 games with just 7 home runs again. His OPS dropped by 55 points and his WRC Plus was even worse at 67. He managed to lower his strikeout rate from an alarmingly high 33.3% to a slightly better 27%, but his walk rate also fell from 8.9% to 7.6%. To make matters worse, Munetaka Murakami of the Tokyo Yakult Swallows, who was part of Kiyomiya's same 2017 draft class and is also a left-handed slugging first baseman, won the Rookie of the Year award, leaving many fighters fans wondering if they drafted the wrong player. To be fair, Kiyomiya's BABIP to this point was 259, so he was getting a bit unlucky with batted balls in play. And in October of 2019, he underwent surgery on his right elbow, which had been bothering him all year. In 2020, for the first time in his professional career, he did not suffer any significant injuries. So no more injuries, no more excuses. Kiyomiya was now 21 years old and surely poised for a breakout season. Unfortunately, this was not the case. He hit just 190. 300, 323 with 7 home runs yet again, this time in 96 games. So 
Through his first 230 NPV games, Kiyomiya is hitting 198, 284, 344 for a 629 OPS. For a young player right out of high school, early struggles at the professional level are obviously to be expected, but not many people expected the once child prodigy to struggle this much. But there are some promising signs, as he lowered his strikeout rate again to 22.4% and upped his walk rate to 12.5%. So far in 2021, Kiyomiya is down on the second team after going just 4 for 24 in spring training with no home runs. He's currently hitting 231, 363, 374 with two jacks in 25 games. That's not very good, although he continues to display more discipline at the dish. So what's going wrong with Kotaro Kiyomiya? Well, that's something only he himself can answer, but it's pretty obvious that earning player comps to Babe Ruth and Sadaharu O in his youth set the bar extremely high, not to mention the fact that his father is a famous rugby union coach, so all these expectations may be getting to his head. There's also been the obvious issue with multiple injuries, though he's been mostly healthy the last couple of years. Now on the bright side, Kiyomiya is still just 22 years old. He still has time to press the reset button and break into the league as if he's just attended college. But if one thing's clear, it's that the struggling Nippon ham fighters need him for their future. In fact, their new stadium, set to open in 2023, is built with friendly dimensions for left-handed power hitters. So the stage is set for Kiyomiya to succeed, but he has to put his past behind him. He can no longer think of himself as the child prodigy that shattered high school records and wowed everyone at the Little League World Series. And he can't think of himself as an MPV bust. He needs to create his own legacy, starting right now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more MPV content in English.